Good morning everyone and welcome to a very sleepy London King's Cross. It's just gone 20 past 6 in the morning here. Today we're going to play a very interesting game. Today uh, we are travelling to Edinburgh and back. However, uh, we're going to use different modes of transport either way because our plan is to see London to Edinburgh, which is faster, train or plane. We're currently on our way to uh, King, uh, sorry, not King's Cross, but to St Pancras International Station. Um, because we're not getting a train first from King's Cross, actually. What we're going to be doing first is flying, and we are, of course, going to be timing that. We'll get some um, breakfast here first, and then we'll stop the clock. Because, in theory, it feels like flying would be a lot quicker, doesn't it? It only takes one hour from Luton, as opposed to four hours by getting the train, but if you think about it, it takes a good hour to get um, from central London to Luton, so that's what I wanted to test. Is it quicker to fly or get the train? Luton Airport Express, that's our one. Next express to Luton Airport Park, we're in six minutes. Three, two, one, and... Start the clock. our first train. So guys, we've just left, um, we've just arrived at Newton Airport Parkway Station uh, and from here we're about to get a brand new transit system, the Luton Dart, which opened only weeks ago before I filmed this. Um, it's one of the UK's newest airport um, train station links and it looks very cool. I haven't had a ride on it yet, but let's have a look. Have reached the airport. Doors will open on the left hand side. Please stand clear of the doors. LLA, London Luton Airport. We've just arrived at. Very, very pleasant ride on the dart indeed. Let's find where our flight departs from then. Luton has changed a lot since I last visited. We have a few security, ladies and gentlemen. That only took about 15 minutes today, so it's pretty good for Luton. Not Heathrow speeds, but still fairly good. I've got about 10 minutes until my gate closes, so hopefully we'll be there in time. On the way to get on our flight. It's just a surreal feeling being out here, isn't it? As the smell of kerosene fills my nostrils, we'll get on at the back of the plane. That's us just about good to go. I think we're just waiting on the final uh, yeah, remaining passengers just to arrive at the aircraft. And once they're on, we'll get our paperwork signed off, get the doors closed, and getting your way up towards uh, Edinburgh. Flight time, we're looking at around a uh, 55 minute mark this morning, covering just shy of 300 miles. We'll speak to you once we're up in the air. Uh, as we've done the pushback, the camera crew, they good morning. Hey 
Thank you for easy job for being on time. Because one day I need you to be on time, it's today. We're going into the clouds, there's nothing to see. <laughs> okay, we're going to be landing in about 15 minutes or so. Somewhere over the borders at the moment, we should be. We might even see Edinburgh on the left hand side if we're coming from the north. Yeah, that is Edinburgh, so we're coming in from the north. You might just about be able to see that. And of course, we're not done yet. We have to get into Edinburgh city centre from here, so we have to think about how we're going to do that. And I've deliberately chosen a seat right at the back of the aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, very well, welcome to Edinburgh. So that we can get off as quickly as possible. I'll tell you what, EasyJet have been very efficient today, haven't they? We're already arriving at our gate less than three minutes after we landed. And we are... ...a good 15 minutes early. Right, can we get, can we get out of the airport in under 10 minutes? Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to reveal just yet our time, but of course from here we need to get into Edinburgh City Centre. And... Our destination, I think, is going to be anywhere on the Royal Mile. I think we can say is Edinburgh City Centre. It's taken a while to get through. I've been walking for a good three, four minutes at this speed, and we still haven't found any sign of the exit. Onward transport. Welcome to Edinburgh. I think that's our bus waiting there, 100 City Centre. Yep, this is the one. The tram's here as well. But the bus is slightly quicker than the tram, ironically. Thank you. Oh, wow, look at this. It's like a coach, isn't it? we are for already. We haven't even been off the plane 15 minutes. So we are on the 100 Airlink service which runs between Edinburgh Airport and the city centre. It runs every 10 minutes which is incredibly, incredibly convenient. Um, it's the fastest way to get from Edinburgh Airport into the city centre, um, beating even the tram. I think it's slightly cheaper than the tram as well. And an incredibly comfy seat. Look at that headrest. This is far more comfortable than even the plane, I think. And of course, this is an express route, so we only call it a few stops along the route. music plays in the background. There is bagpipe music playing everywhere. Anyway, this here is the Royal Mile. 
so we need to be, get ready to we need to get ready to stop the clock as soon as we arrive I'm not going to reveal the time to you just yet that will be revealed at the end of the video will we will the train be quicker than the plane will the plane be quicker than the train this looks very 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 familiar I've been here so many times before and stop time has been confirmed stay tuned to the end of the video to find out the time how long it took to get here now let's go back to Edinburgh Wivley train station and from there let's go back down to London again and go right quickly 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 oh. Edinburgh Wivley station sneaky way in Sneaky way. Let's find our platform. I believe our train is departing from platform 7 today. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board Lumo. Uh, I've got it just in time, we're parting in about 10 minutes or so, I wouldn't want to make it um, any, I wouldn't want to arrive any later because these trains do get really busy. Um, in comparison to LNER, um, the seats feel definitely lower, um, seats are definitely lower, you've got an adjustable headrest as well which makes the seat um, more comfortable than it was before, very nice pattern. The train is incredibly clean, the train's barely two years old I think, um, Lumo launched at the end of 2021, so they are a newcomer to the East Coast Main Line. Big table, I might get on and do some work on that, it's going to be it's gonna be a long sit down, but is a long sit down better than lots of walking around standing up and waiting, I don't, I'll leave that up to you. So Lumo have the least number of stops of any operator between Edinburgh and London, between Scotland and between Scotland and England, for that matter. This train stops more Perth, Newcastle, Stevenage. That's it. Whereas other um, other LNER services would stop at other stations along the way, like Darlington, Durham, Alnmouth, Berwick. But we we fly straight through all those stations, and we are off, ladies and gentlemen. Just past Torness Power Station, which is one of the last remaining nuclear power stations in the UK. Although the government is doing a scheme to bring back nuclear energy, which is a very good thing. Oh, 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 I've just discovered the movie section. You don't get this on EasyJet, do you? Is that it? It's a bit rubbish. These are all fairly old films as well. 2003, 2018, 2017. Dunkirk's a good film. Can't stand The Greatest Showman. Bohemian Rhapsody's good. Maybe I'll watch one of those again. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just crossed the border into England. Come to a stop, haven't we? Well, I need us to be early. We need to be back at St Pancras as soon as we can. We don't have time for this. Bloody delayed cross country service. This is what we're stuck behind. It's delayed by three minutes. arrived at Newcastle ladies and gentlemen. From here we are non-stop to Hertfordshire, Stevenage and Hertfordshire. 
be over two hours non-stop, which is going to be very, very, very good. Well, hopefully non-stop. On time. I've just had the I've just had the reality check. Leaving Newcastle, next stop Stevenage. Wow, I've this this is so unique. This might be the longest. Oh, there's a helicopter taking off. This might be the longest distance between two stops on the entire UK railway network. York. I've been up and down between Edinburgh and London King's Cross more times than I care to remember, but never once have I done this. Coming back into Peterborough as the sun begins to set. We are less than an hour away from London now. And the sun, I believe, is now set. We are on our approach to Stevenage now. After Stevenage, I'm going to slowly make my way towards the front of the train so that we can get out just out onto the platforms as quickly as we can, just outside the station where we were this morning. So I definitely have to say, it's been a long journey from Edinburgh. Where about 20 minutes away from London King's Cross now. I have to say, Lumo's soft product and hard product is about a mu is a mile and a half better than EasyJet's. I've sat in the seat for close to four hours now, over four hours now, and I don't feel any sort of discomfort or anything. I'm particularly glad that the train's not too busy because it gives me room to sort of spread out a little bit more. I'm pleased to say much work has been done. Much Rick and Morty has been watched. We are on our final approach into London King's Cross. I haven't actually checked the time yet. I'm going to leave it as a surprise to you until we arrive at King's Cross. Hello, reflection, Charlie. We're just about to come into London King's Cross. I believe we're coming into platform five. So if I remember correctly, that means we um, the exit is on the left-hand side. Quite see whether we're in a tunnel or whether we're outside because it's just so dark. I think we're in the tunnel. Wow, Lumo, that was Shinkansen like punctuality. That was doors opened at 2046 on the dot. My watch is tuned exactly to Big Ben. Here's our train. Not too sure what's going on there. Should we find somewhere quieter to go so that I can do an outro? I'll stop the time here anyway. And timer has been stopped. Let's compare times. Okay, now comes the time that you have been waiting for this whole video. Now comes the time that I've made you watch the whole video until. 
So, Lumo. From departure, f um, or from my departure from the Royal Mile, to my arrival outside the King's Cross Station forecourt, took a total of four hours, forty-seven minutes, and thirty-four seconds. EasyJet, on the other hand, from King's Cross Station for forecourt to the Royal Mile via Luton Airport, on the other hand. It took 3 hours, 35 minutes, 41, 41 seconds. So EasyJet is over an hour quicker than travelling with Lumo. Of course, these times do come with big asterisks. Um, everything worked out perfectly today. There are chances that it may not work out perfectly for either um, the plane or the train. For example, yesterday, uh, the EasyJet flight uh, from Luton to Edinburgh that I got was delayed by over 3 hours. And last week, um, there was a um, power failure in the Reston area, causing um, all services to be cancelled on the East Coast Main Line that evening, so it, things like that can happen any day. Also, I arrived at Luton Airport with less than an hour, um, or I arrived in the airport building itself less than an hour before the flight was scheduled to depart. Um, that's not going to be practical for everyone to do. If, you're, if you have reduced mobility or if you have bags to check in, um, then by all means then it's probably a good idea to arrive at the airport slightly earlier than that. I did that purely for the fact that it was a race. Um, I understand that there was a quite a big risk that I could have missed my flight, um, but we didn't in the end. Now to compare prices. Prices, 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 because it's, it's no good. Um, it's, no, it's no good if something's slightly quicker, but... Um, is a lot more expensive, which in this case it was. My EasyJet flight from Luton Airport to Edinburgh cost me £31 one way. £31, that was the flat fare at the time I booked. That does not include the £11 train ticket, which cost me to get from St Pancras up to Luton. That also does not include the £4.50 dart fare, uh, which cost me to get from Luton Airport Parkway Station into Luton Airport itself. And that also does not include the £5.50 bus fare which took me on the 100 Skylink between Edinburgh Airport and Edinburgh City Centre. On the other hand, Lumo cost me nothing to walk from Royal Mile to Waverley Station, and it cost me nothing to walk out from, the cent from um, King's Cross Station. Um, and the train ticket cost me just £19, albeit that was with a 16 to 17 saver rail card which gives me a discount of 50%, but even without the rail card that's still £39, um, sorry I can't do maths, £38, um, which works out cheaper than EasyJet does if you factor in all the costs. So which is quicker to get from, um, Ed from London to Edinburgh? The answer is the plane which is the easiest and best way to get from London to Edinburgh? The answer is the train. Good night everyone, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do want to um, support me making stupid content like this, then do click the like button and do consider subscribing. This has been It's All About The Journey and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.